Hello again, everyone. Uh, it's Ray here uh, with uh, Uvision 3D Landscape Creator. And I'm going to show you over the next few minutes how to create what I call the four minute landscape. And uh, this method is a quick way of designing a landscape um, preliminary uh, plan or idea that you want to convey to your customer. So you start with an open slate like we have here. You can zoom in a little bit if you like and uh, you uh, zip over to the uh, view tab pardon me the tools tab and you go to picture import wizard now first and foremost you have to take a photo of the particular house that you want to plan and you need to take the photo at a 90 degree uh, angle to the face of the uh, the structure or building and what we'll do is we'll get a picture um, out of our library here. I think I have one here called Sample. Sample Home. We'll click on that. Click Open. And click the Next button. And set the file name. If you like to put in Jones Residence, you can rename that. Click Next. And then Finish. And you'll notice that attached to the end of your mouse will be the image. You can enlarge that using the green drag bar or drag uh, uh, button on the end. Then I recommend you go into perspective mode here in the bottom left. Click on the perspective tab and you can see that we've imported our picture. First thing to do is to go to the right hand side and click off the rotate to face viewer because if I rotate this uh, drawing you see how the picture rotates and we don't want that to happen that's a kind of a nuisance so turn that off and now it will stay in place first thing we have to do is get rid of this area in front here um, and make it more realistic in the plan and the way to do that is to go over the right hand side to the elevation button click on elevation and sink the house down into the ground. Now you have to know the scale of your drawing plan and I happen to know that the scale here is set so that um, each one of these squares is two feet and we also know that this garage door is 18 feet it is very important in order to scale the, the drawing or photo properly that you have a known distance. You might, for example, have measured this distance from uh, this post to this post as being 10 feet, in which case every one of these lines is 10 feet. You can scale these posts to that. In our case, I'm going to use the garage door because I know that double car garage doors are 18 feet wide. So right off the bat, I can see that my scaling is a little bit too large. So I'm going to sink it down a bit so that it looks like it hits approximately the 18 foot mark. And now you notice I'm a little bit too deep. So I go to my elevation slider here and I click it until I am out of the ground sufficiently um, to put that photo into the landscape. Once you've completed this, um, it's important now to have an idea already what you're planning on doing. I like to tilt my drawing over a bit like this and then go over to my building tab on the upper left hand corner. Click on patio, which is also could be your driveway tool. And I know I'm going to have a side walkway, so I'm going to come out like that on the side going to come down and we know our driveway is about 40 some odd feet wide and I'm going to click my driveway at 20 feet wide come down near the end here and I'm going to build a little bit of a larger courtyard area and then finish it off over in front of the house. Once I've done that my driveway is in place and now what I recommend that you do is go into plan view. You won't be able to see the house, but you will be able to, at this point, design like you would on a regular plan view. 
First thing you'll need to do is to uh, uh, get a seat wall or a pillar built in there. You go to your retaining wall uh, tool and you can construct a seat wall. We're going to have to use the uh, straight tool here and we'll go right up to here. Right click. Now if you notice the wall that will appear uh, will appear over the pavers. You can change this by going to the Options tab, clicking on that, and then click on Switch Sides. And now the retaining wall, or seat wall rather, has jumped to the outside of that border. A quick peek in perspective will show you how that appears. And now, of course, you can just go in and change your materials to the color that's best suited for your house. So we can change that to any any color at all. So once you've built your uh, seat wall, you can also add in pillars, etc. Um, and I'm going to show you how the how the gardens put in in plan view. You go over to landscape, click region, and now for this to be flow a little nicer, click that magnet button and that'll turn the snap off and then you can create kind of nicer flowing lines and you can go right under the driveway because it won't show on the diagram and we can do that on the other side as well we can just we can start putting in our fancy bed and then filling them with plant material again it doesn't really matter that you go under the pavers or the wall or even behind the picture Go back into perspective, you can see how now we have our nice plant material beds in. Go back to plan view. Now we're ready to add in some plants. And we'll click on our plant tab. We'll open up our library. And we'll click on shrubs. We'll select some budley eye here. And then by holding the control key down, we can just paste multiple plants in and of course you can landscape this any way you like. The point being that when you go into perspective now you've got a, a great looking realistic plan built around the photograph. Of course you lose some of the three-dimensional detail in the house but I also didn't spend two hours building that house uh, using the uh, the house building tool. Um, so this is a great way to present something to your uh, to your customer. If I go into the walkthrough mode here, you'll see that it really generates something that's very realistic. And you can zoom around in on this project. It almost blends right into the background that we have that's built into the software. And then by pressing the F5 key, I can capture this picture and print it off on a, uh, a color printer. So I hope this helps and gives you some ideas on how you might uh, do some additional prospecting or uh, how you can create a quick concept for someone. Perhaps you're working on a job and the neighbor wants to uh, have a couple ideas. You can, uh, you can literally uh, get on your laptop and in a few minutes give them uh, a very good idea of what uh, a project would look like in front of their home. Thanks again for joining us and uh, uh, hope you continue to use uh, and enjoy UVision 3D Landscape Creator.